going here today it is Saturday afternoon I'm messing around with the tractor let me show you what we've got going on here right here here's the angle I ended up painting this bracket gray because uh, ultimately I'm gonna I decided I'm gonna paint this cadet I have this color I actually have some of this in a single stage automobile paint uh, that's very very close to this yellow so I'm gonna paint the bracket and I wanted a lighter base on there because this red the yellow doesn't cover too well over these dark primers so I reshot it in gray which is kind of silly now that I think about it because my greasy hands have been all over it and it's gonna be uh, an adhesion issue so I'm gonna actually have to reprime it but who cares about that that's easy check out what we got going on here check out the angle the angle of the dangle that is as less of an angle as I can get. Let me put you on macro. Let me show you what I'm dealing with under here. Hey, let me go around the other side of the tractor. Maybe the light will be better. So coming in from the right-hand side of the tractor, here is the angle. It's kind of steep, but it's better than it was if I were to have run the pulley any lower. Now, this is as low as I can get it. People were talking about potentially running uh, the carrier bearings and everything behind the pulley, but I just, I have no room. I've got an axle right here. I have all this hardware here for where the PTO, the stock PTO hooks up for when I use a rototiller, so I can't delete any of that. 
and that's that's what I got. I got nothing behind there, and that's with the that's with me tucking this pulley up as high as I could get it. Um, if I had hung the pulley down much lower here, I could have run whatever uh, I think. But then the angle of the drive shaft would have been severely, severely angled. That would be no bueno. Now the other, the only other option that I saw to reduce this angle would have been to modify the front of the tractor. If I had deleted some of this sheet metal, punched a hole in the sheet metal and run it either directly off the crank pulley or still used the PTO. But I would have had to chop up the front end of this vintage tin and that's, that's not what I'm into doing. This has got to be a multi-purpose vehicle. I don't need this tractor only being a plow. So, the two bearing carriers came in. You see I've got them on some this shallow C channel, which is going to weld to those quarter inch feet, quarter inch plate fleet, 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 feet that I have going there. There's the spline shaft that I built. The axle ended up cutting down to be about 11 inches. It looks like that's about a good length and right now it turns freely with no binding no movement see the pulley's not pulling it because I haven't uh, I haven't cut a flat spot in on that shaft this three-quarter shaft I'm gonna I'm gonna grind a flat spot for the uh, set screw to lock that in however man I think we're ready to give this thing a test fire and I think I think, actually that's backwards, I think I'm going to um, fire it with just the clamps because I'm not patient enough to weld this in place and wait, that'll be another hour. I want to find out now, now, so uh, let's do it. I'm going to cut this flat spot, run the pulley in there, make sure the pulley's lined up and uh, let's make this bit spin. There's how the bearing carriers or pillow block, car pillow block bearings worked out just ran a little flat spot into the drive shaft. That's how the drive shaft came out. It milled out quite nice. Got a couple little couple little pox here where it welded, but uh, yeah, I'm not that worried about it. So let's put this thing in and fire it up. So after I dropped the camera and broke it, oops, oh well, it is what it is. It's a broken camera now. I think I have the drive line lined up. It seems to spin relatively freely without, uh, let me get this stupid tripod now. Uh, I can spin it without feeling any binding. Yep pulley lined up. I'll look at it this way. There's only one way to try it out. I think it's right. The pulley doesn't look perfectly lined up with the crank pulley, PTO pulley. But, well, that may be as good as it's going to get. I don't know. Let's fire this thing up. Pull the lever. See what happens. <laughs> 